We're back with Senator Kamala Harris. Sunny. Yeah. Closing the racial uh, wealth gap and reparations. Yes, it, it close the racial wealth gap, it, absolutely. In fact, what I am proposing is that as it relates particular fast. to housing, we have had a history of redlining, of excluding, in particular, African-American homeowners from, from families from buying homes. I intend to deal with that by giving people who are living in federally subsidized housing a federal grant that will help them put down payments on homes and, and also to deal with credit scores. You have to hear this, though, because we judge credit and healthy credit based on an assumption you have money so we look at credit card payments mm -hmm. instead of hey how about if their family's paying their phone bill on time and paying their rent on time and paying their utility bills on time we should be measuring that as part of you are a responsible person financially yes. so they can qualify for credit right. Done. Make it. Good. Okay. <laughs> as possible. Okay. You're for decriminalizing border crossings. You're one of the people that raised your <coughs> hand at the debate. Do you agree with AOC that we should get rid of DHS altogether? That is not correct. I am not in favor of decriminalizing um, or, or not having um, consequence for... We have to keep... Let me just be very clear. We have to have a secure border, but I am in favor of saying that we're not going to treat people who are undocumented and cross the border as criminals. That's correct. That is correct. And what we've got to do is we cannot have any more policy like we have, ha have under this current president mm -hmm. that is about inhumane conduct, that is about putting babies in cages, it is about separating children from their parents. And we have got to have policy that is about passing comprehensive immigration reform with a pathway towards citizenship, shutting just, down just these private clarify detention Clarify this facilities. for me, though, because yes, I please. do find it confusing. Yeah. I believe if someone crosses over the border, it's illegally, it is illegal, and you would, you would decriminalize it. I would not make it a crime punishable by jail. I, it should be a civil enforcement issue, but not a criminal enforcement issue. Okay. So there should, there should be, the, you know, you've got to play by the rules, but the, it, we can't treat people like criminals when, when they're crossing the border and what, incarcerate what them and separate them from their families. I think just for conservatives, it is a talking point that we think open borders is something the left wants. And, yeah. you know, I understand that we have a difference of opinion, but... But I believe in border security. Great. I believe but, in border security. So you, I believe you wouldn't that get we, rid of DHS. No, I would not. Right. But it, we need to, we need oh. to restructure and reform it. it it's, 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 been, it's been found actually through federal audits to be one of the most dysfunctional of federal agencies. So we need to deal with it and fix it. But I do not believe in getting rid of it. No. Thank you. Yeah. We did it. Quick. Wait, wait, wait. Can we say hello to Douglas and Hall? Uh, the, maybe the first dude <laughs> is the Senator Kamala Harris' husband. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, husbands are fine. Okay. <laughs> you had a few. I've had else. several. Yeah. As long as, but they're no longer married to me, so I'm fine. <laughs> so thanks to Senator Kamala Harris, we will be right back. Okay.